Hello, beautiful friends. I hope everyone's having an awesome week. Um, I'm excited to be doing these videos again. Hope everyone is staying safe and staying well. We are gonna be going through a short bar workout today. It's gonna be prenatal friendly. So again, if you, whether you're pregnant, postnatal, um, not planning on being pregnant, you can be a guy and do this workout. It's still gonna be an awesome workout no matter what. Um, but I wanted to make sure this was available for all of my mamas. And we're gonna be doing a lot more prenatal workouts. You're gonna see a lot more of these. So I hope that you guys enjoy. Um, if you're following along on the playlist, get ready. We're gonna hit play in three, two, one, play. Inhale, reaching the arms up. Exhale, press the air away. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, press it away. One more, inhale, big reach up. Exhale, drop that right arm, left arm reaches up and over, stretch the side body. Breathe into those intercostal muscles. Deep breath in here. And on the exhale, gently start to pop that left heel out, right toes turn out. You're gonna reach long, creating a nice flat back. Reaching, breathing into that right hamstring. Inhale here. And then on the exhale, go ahead, take it all the way down. Breathe into that right hamstring. You can rest your hands on your shins, on your thigh. Whatever is right for you today. We're gonna add a plie in the left knee in three, two, one, bend. And stretch, bend and stretch. Focusing on that deep breathing. Two more here. And then go ahead, take it all the way to the center, drop your head. Maybe not at yes, shake it no. Releasing any tension through the spine. Maybe grabbing opposite elbows. Inhale. And on the exhale, hands come back down to the floor. Starting to bend through the knees. You can turn those toes out a little bit to like 11 and one if you'd like. And stretch, bend and stretch. Just a little plie here. Warming up the hamstrings. We've got four, three, two, and one. Drop the chin to the chest, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, all the way up to stand. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, left hand comes down, right arm is gonna reach up and over this time. Breathing into the right side body. Just notice the difference in the right side versus the left side. Inhale. And on the exhale, pop that right heel out, reaching long with the right arm, breathing into the left hamstring, focusing on that nice long spine. Imagine your baby's hanging out in a little hammock right here. Deep inhale. Exhale, coming all the way down. Maybe hands come to the floor, maybe your shin to your thigh. We're gonna add that plie through the right knee it's bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Four more, four, stretch, three, two, and one. And then go ahead, release. Take it all the way to the center. This time turn all 10 toes to the front. Inhale, come to a nice flat back. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. Bend and stretch. You've got four, three, two, and one. Drop the chin to the chest, roll it up one vertebrae at a time, all the way up and then turn your heels in. Hands can come to your heart or to your hips. We're just gonna come down into a second position. 
Pulsing here, starting to warm up through the inner thighs. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hold it down. Arms can come to your heart. Maybe taking one hand to your heart, one hand to your belly, whatever feels good to you. Feel free to close your eyes here. Just coming into our first hold of class. Deep breathing. Inhale through the nose. Open the mouth side out. And then take those arms out to the side. And we're gonna come back to that pulse. Three, two, one. Little movement. We're gonna move big in four, three, two, one. It's down and lift and lift. Reaching up with every exhale. Really focusing on that big range of movement. We're gonna be doing a lot of squats. Really working on that lower body, building the glutes, the quads, the core. Don't worry, we'll do arms too. It's eight, seven, six, five, last four. Three, two, and one. Take it down and hold. And breathe. We're gonna go back to those pulses. Feel free to keep both heels down or follow along with me. Pop the right heel. Keep that breath. So left heel is still down on the mat. Just the right heel is up. Four, three, two, switch. Left heel comes up. Focus on the pulse. Eight, six, four, three, Two, maybe take both heels up for eight, seven, six. Keeping those arms strong. Last four, three, two, and one. Heels come down, reach, reach. Notice I turn my toes forward. We're gonna go into some more squats in four, three, two, and one. Hands to your heart. So heel toe those feet in a little bit so your feet are just slightly wider than your shoulders. We're gonna take it down low and lift. Low and lift. Nice and slow. Keeping that core tight, you've got four, three, two, and one. Pick it up, down, down, down. So if this is a little bit much for you or a little bit too quick, feel free to go back to those slow squats. It's just whatever you're feeling today, whatever is right for your body. I have not moved my body quite a bit lately. So for me, these quick squats are feeling great. Keep that breath. Last eight, seven, six, Five, you're almost there. 
You've got this. Last two. Last one. Down and hold. Just breathe. Taking those hands to your heart. Can you take it down one more inch? Hold here. You're almost there. Focus on the breath. You'll notice in prenatal classes, we do a lot of holds. We're preparing our body to be comfortable in the discomfort, getting used to powering and breathing through about a minute to two minutes, the average length of a contraction. It's four, three, two, and one. Come up, shake those legs out, grab your weights. And we're gonna start heels together in first position. Arms down, bend the knees. So we're making a diamond shape with the legs. You can stay here, or if you'd like to come up on your tiptoes, bringing the heels together, totally up to you, all right? We're gonna keep this arm um, circuit pretty short because we're gonna go into some more lower body and abs, and we're just little bicep curls. Lift, lift, lift. So if you don't have weights at home, that's totally fine. Feel free to use maybe some water bottles. You can use canned goods. You can ditch the weights altogether. Just this movement, focusing on being mindful, imagining that you're really squeezing, lifting really heavy weights, whether you are or not, every single time will give you guys awesome results. It's eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, take it up. Press, 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 press. Focusing on the breath. Again, get comfortable being uncomfortable. That's relevant for all of us right now, no matter whether you're pregnant or not. In the world that we're living in, we gotta be comfortable being uncomfortable, all right? You can use this, get your mind comfortable with pushing your boundaries. Last four, three, two, and one, gently release. Turn it to the side. We're gonna take the right foot forward, left foot steps back, find your crescent lunge. Arms are gonna to come to your heart. Holding here, we're gonna add a bend in the left knee. Down and stretch. It's slow. Stretch, bend and stretch, bend and stretch. Making sure that right knee stays in line over your ankle. So adjusting your feet if you need to. Stretch and stretch, stretch. One more here. Take your arms out in front of you. We're gonna start with the left hand back and we're just gonna do the arms holding that crescent lunge. Then we're gonna combine, switch, switch. So I'm just pulling back and pressing forward, alternating my arms. So maybe this is good for you. Maybe you wanna add the lower body. All right. If you do, you bend, stretch, stretch, stretch. Woo, building up heat, working on that lower body. Focus on the breath, it's eight. Seven, six, four, three, two, and one. Hold it down. Both arms come out in front of you. Back and press. Press. You don't have a lot of these. Hang with me. Just four more. Four, 
three, two, and one. Gently release, shake those legs out. We're gonna switch sides. So this time left foot comes forward, right foot comes back. Setting up in your crescent lunge to start. Right heel is spiked, hands come to the heart. Remember, we just start with those bending through the right knee, holding the lunge, down and lift. And lift. Focus on the breath. Find a focal point. Y'all, we're already halfway there. You've got this. Eight, seven, six, five, last four, three, two, and one. Hold that lunge. Arms come out long. We start with isolating the arms. Switch, switch, pull and push. Opposition. Really focus on keeping the hands shoulder height. So maybe this is plenty. Maybe you wanna add on. We're gonna add that right knee. Here we go. Bend, stretch, and stretch. Stretch, and stretch. You've got this. I'm working with you. Feel free to stop, take a break at any time. Seven, six, five, four, three. Hold is coming. Last one. Take it down, arms out. We're gonna go to that press, just eight. Press, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release, shake those legs out, ditch your weights. If you have a bar handy, grab on with one hand, maybe use the wall or a chair. We're just gonna stretch out those quads. Take your heel toward your glute. Breathing here. And then switching sides. Grabbing for that right foot. Heel to glute. We're not done yet. Deep breath in. And then on the exhale, gently release. Shake the legs out. So we're gonna come down to the mat and we're gonna come down into a reverse tabletop. So we're gonna do a little bit of core work before we end with a tiny bit more leg work, all right? So the hands are gonna be back, fingertips pointed toward your glutes, toes are pointed forward. We're gonna lift up into a reverse tabletop, okay? So the shoulders are back, you're using your core to pull up, this is great if you want an ab workout, but your crunches are not in the cards for you. This is gonna be an awesome move. So we're gonna start by lifting that right leg up, bend the knee, lift the leg, take it back down. Left leg up, bend the knee, press the hips up, foot down. So that's option number one. Option number two, we're gonna add a tricep um, push up here. Right leg comes up, bend, press, release. Extend, elbows bend, press, release the foot. Foot comes down, lift, bend, press, lift, bend, press, release, lift, bend, press, release, lift. Press, release, lift, press, release. Two more each side. This 
This workout will get you 30 minutes is all we need here. Last one. And release. Hands come down, hips come down, arms come across. And then we're gonna switch sides. Should have really got those shoulders. Deep breath in. Exhale, gently release. So we're gonna come onto the side. We're gonna work a side plank. So you've got a couple options here. Feel free to come into full side plank with your hips up off the mat. Right hand can come on your hip, maybe up into the air. If that's not in the cards for you, a lot of times our baby is kind of pulling us forward. You feel gravity working against you. Drop that left knee down. This is still gonna be an awesome movement here. Working through the side body, stretching here. And then if you have the arm extended, stack it up. And we're just gonna close it off for two. Open for two. Close, down, lift. Close and lift. Close it off and lift. Close it off, lift. Close it off, lift it up. You've got this. Use this as the time to catch your breath. Eight more. Lift. Close and lift. Close and lift. Keep the breath. Last three. Last two. Last one here. Up and hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop that left knee. Hands come down. Let's take a quick cat cow. Just work it out. Drop the belly, lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. One more like that. Take any organic movements that feel better to you here. And then sitting back, we're gonna set up for the opposite side. So this time right hand comes down. Find your side plank. Again, option one, both feet up. Option two, we drop that left, or that right knee, left leg extends out long. Maybe reaching the left arm long for the stretch. Just enjoying this side plank here. And then we're gonna take that left hand up and start with that exercise. It's close, down, lift, open. Close, open. Should feel really good through the chest. And lift. Maybe staying here. Maybe you wanna challenge yourself for this last set. Totally up to you. Maybe you are in that full side plank and you're ready to take it down. Do whatever your body is telling you to do today. Listen to your body. Listen to your baby. Last three. Two. And one, hold. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Left hand comes down, drop the knees. Hands come out wide. Drop the belly and lengthen the spine, look up. Exhale, round the back, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, lengthen and lift. Exhale, round, press it away. One more. And then just sitting back. We're gonna come up to stand. We're gonna end with some curtsy lunges. So left foot up first, pressing yourself up. 
So for this, we are going to be moving through about four movements. So hands can be at the heart, they can be at your hips. Again, one hand on your heart and your baby, maybe both hands on your belly. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna start in a curtsy lunge. This is movement one, movement two, back to that squat. Lift up is three, squat back down is four. Opposite foot, curtsy back, squat, lift and squat, curtsy, squat, lift and squat. One more slow like this, lift, squat. So maybe you wanna keep moving slow. Maybe you wanna move a little bit faster. It's whatever is right for you today. All right, here we go. Back, squat, lift, squat, curtsy. So you're keeping it low, lifting on that third count. Stay low, low, high, low, 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 high, low. You've got this. Lift, lower. Engaging through the core through the legs, upper body is strong. You've got this. Eight, lift. Seven, lift. Six, I told you we were coming back to this lower body, but this is our last big movement before we cool it down. Lift. It's four. Lift. Last three, hang with me. Two. Last one, here we go. Take it back, center, lift, squat. Just back to those squats, nice and slow. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Pulse it out. Almost there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Gently release, shake those legs out. We're gonna come down to a seated position, taking your legs out long in front of you. Inhale, lift the arms up. Exhale, hinge forward, reaching for those feet. Maybe you're reaching for shins. Whatever's right for you, just breathe into the hamstrings here. Deep breath in, exhale, gently coming up. So we're gonna come into a wide leg forward fold. We did a lot on our legs today, a lot through the inner thighs. So taking the legs out wide, find what's right for you. So it doesn't have to be the widest that you can possibly go, but I do want your legs to be out wider than just how they were hip width, okay? Maybe starting to walk your hands forward. This might be plenty for you. Maybe you wanna to start to reach coming down. Just be aware that if you are pregnant, you may feel really stretchy, really bendy. It's totally normal. Some of your hormones are gonna be a little bit higher, allowing for being a little bit more stretchy. But with that being said, if this is usually your limit, stop here, okay? I don't want you to overstretch. 
um, injure yourself or pull anything, tear anything, pay attention to where your regular boundaries are and honor those. Breathing here, starting to let the breath slow down. Maybe dropping the head, rounding through the spine, whatever feels best for your body. Got about 30 more seconds here. Remember how I talked about getting comfortable being uncomfortable holding those postures between 60 to 120 seconds. Usually you're gonna see me holding them anywhere around 45 to 90 seconds in these early videos so that you guys can get used to the idea. But I want you to get comfortable breathing through the amount of time that you would take for a contraction. And then gently starting to walk your hands back up. We're gonna go back to that side stretch that we did at the beginning of class. Left hand comes out long, right arm is gonna reach up and over. So this is not reaching, trying to touch your foot. This is stretching through the right side body. I want you to feel this all along the right line of your body. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, right hand should pull you back up. We're gonna switch sides. Right hand can come to your shin. Left arm reaches up and over. Looking up at that left arm, breathing into the left side body, trying to create a little bit more space. Deep breath in. And on the exhale, let the left hand pull you up. Start to wiggle those feet back in. Just kind of shake it out here. And then we're gonna bring those feet in, sitting up tall, closing your eyes. I want you to take one hand to your heart and one hand to your belly. Just focusing on the breath. Breathing in all that positive energy that you just created. Focusing on the breath. Deep breath in the nose. Open the mouth, sigh it all out. Let's do one more like that, deep breath in. Open the mouth, let it go. Blinking open the eyes. Thank you so much for sharing your practice and your time with me today. I hope you have a wonderful week.